Hello, today I'm going to be speaking, teaching and preaching on the benefits of studying the word of God. Let's pray. Father God, Holy Spirit, help me today, Father, to speak your word, Father. Help me, Father, today to identify and understand your word, Lord. Help us to reap the benefits, Father, of your word. Help us to understand and dissect the word, Father, and bring it into our everyday lives, Lord. Use me as a vessel, Father, to speak your word. Open the hearts, the eyes and ears of the people today, Father, to hear what you have to say. For them to open their hearts, understand your word, and do it in their daily lives. Thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty holy name, amen and hallelujah. I, find, I first want us to go to 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 to second, 17. 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 to 17. Say amen when you're there. Second Timothy 3, verse 16 to 17 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. What does this mean? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. What does this have to do with studying of the word of God? It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. That is some of the benefits for studying the word of God. For doctrine. For teaching you the ways. For teaching you the path that God wants you to go in. The straight and narrow path. For correction. Say for example. You and I. We go to a place that we shouldn't go. We go into a place with temptation. But the scriptures say. That that temptation, that there will, the temptation is not bigger than us. That God will always provide a way out for us. That's what the scriptures say. It's for correction, for reproof, for guiding us back to the right path. The scriptures are a guideline. It's a fence. It teaches us on where to go. And what we should do. That the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. The word of God not just helps us. Studying the word of God not just reaps the rewards and the benefits for correction and guiding us for the right path, but helps us do good works. How many of us today will not do moral things, will not do kind things to people on the street if it hadn't been for the word of God? How many people would pass the homeless man on the side of the road if it, if it wasn't for God. If it wasn't for God, how many people, how many of us would be alive today? For one, I can say that if it wasn't for God and God's word, I would not be here speaking to you today. That's why studying the word of God is such an important thing in my heart. Because when you study the word of God, you show yourself approved unto God. A worker rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing. Don't divide the way the devil does. When the devil tried to tempt Jesus to eat. When Jesus was on a 40 day fast. When the devil tried to tempt Jesus. Not to worship God. When the devil tried to tempt Jesus. When he even used some parts of the scripture. The devil did not rightly divide the word of truth. He said some parts of Psalms 91. But he did not say the full scriptures of Psalms 91. He bent the scriptures for his own benefits. That's why one of the scriptures in the Bible says. Rightly dividing the word of truth. We need to rightly divide the word of truth and use it in our daily lives. 
and use it in our daily lives. Now, I want us to go to Proverbs 3, verse 1 to 2. Say amen when you're there. Proverbs 3, verse 1 to 2 says, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commandments. For the length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. What does this mean? God is saying, don't forget my word. Don't keep the commandments in your heart. Because they will add your length of days and long life. And they will add peace unto you. This is one of the benefits of studying the word of God. Number one, you have the word of God in your heart. So you will always be on the right path. You have these guidelines to follow. It's a lamp shining on what path your feet should walk on. Two, it stops you from being deceived. Because the devil can speak like an angel of light. But you know, he's darkness. God, when God speaks, when the Holy Spirit speaks, he speaks by his word. That is the guideline to you to know when God is speaking. That's why we need to know the word of God. Keep the commandments in our hearts so that we may not be deceived by the enemy or by our own conscience, by our own voice. But that we may listen to God's voice and be obedient and trust him. For they will add length of days and long life and add peace to your life. Add peace to your life. Psalms 119 verse 11 says, Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. This is just adding to what we are talking about here. About the benefits of studying the word of God. That I might not sin against you. Your word I have hidden in my heart. That I might not sin against you. We need to study and hide the word of God in our hearts. We need to meditate on the word of God. Understand the word of God. And put it into action in our daily lives. Today. So many born again believers. So many Christians today. Are being deceived. Because they do not study and dissect the word of God. When doctors, scientists dissect an animal, they take every single part of that animal and they analyze it. That's what we need to do with the word of God. We need to take every single piece of the word of God. Look at the deeper meaning. Look between the words, between the lines. Ask the Holy Spirit for understanding. Because most of these revelations cannot come by ourselves. How do you think John wrote the book of Revelation? Was it by his own strength? Was it by his own might? No, it was by God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus. It's because he had cultivated a relationship with the Holy Spirit. He had cultivated time and obedience to God. Because he cultivated a relationship and a meditation of studying the word of God. Because he cultivated that lifestyle, that relationship. He was able to receive that revelation. That's what we need to have in our daily lives today. That's what we need to have in our daily lives today. As born again believers, we need to study the word of God. To keep us on the right path. To keep us away from temptation. To keep us away from deception. And into the truth. I want us. To listen. To God. These are the benefits. Of studying the word of God. Listen to God. Obey God. Trust God, trust the Holy Spirit. Ask Him for understanding. If you feel like today you're not understanding God's word, they're not understanding what He's saying, just pray. 
I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Father God, help me today, Lord. Holy Spirit, speak to me. Open my eyes and my heart to understand your word. Open my ears to hear your word, Father, and listen, heed your word, Lord. Help me, Father, to dissect your word, Father. Give me and bring upon me your revelation in your word, Father. And help me to apply it in my daily life. In Jesus' name, amen. The word of God is God speaking in the scriptures. Jesus is called the word of God. John 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning, the word was God. What is God? In the beginning, John 1, 1. What does this mean? The word of God is God speaking in the scriptures. Jesus is called the word of God. What? What does this mean? How does this make sense? Jesus is called the word of God? What? John is saying right now that in the beginning, the word was with God, the word was God, and the word is God. What does this mean? This means that Jesus was there in the scriptures, that the Holy Spirit was there in the scriptures. In Genesis 1, 1, it talks about how the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Spirit of God was hurrying over the waters. Now, this is the true benefit of studying the word of God. The revelations that God speaks to us. The guidance that God shows us through his word. Now, you can't just study the word of God. And not put it into action. You cannot study the word of God and not put it into action. So, today, born again believers, from now on, we must cultivate a lifestyle, a relationship with God, where we meditate on His word, where we dissect. The word of God. When we dissect and understand and apply in our daily lives the word of God. And if you don't know who Jesus is. If you don't know who is this Holy Spirit. Who is this God that you talk about. Then. This is who Jesus is. He died on the cross for you and I. All the sins that you may have ever committed in your past and even in your future, he paid the price on Calvary for you. Imagine someone else, imagine someone having a prison sentence and then someone else says to the judge, I'll take it for them. Even though that person has nothing to completely do with it whatsoever. But they come in, they step in and say, Judge, I'll take their place. Give me the burden. Give me the prison sentence instead. Because they loved you so much. That's what Jesus did for you. And he died on the cross for you. He washed away all your sins with his blood. And if you would like to accept his gift, you just have to repeat this prayer after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I repent of my sins. Lord Jesus, forgive me. And I receive you as my Lord and my Savior from this day forward. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen and hallelujah. You are saved. Your name is written into the Lamb's book of life. You are that one lost sheep that has now been found that one lost coin that has now been found there is a party in heaven for you right now 
Now, let me tell you, new born again believer, the road will not be easy, but it will be worth it. Study the word of God. I recommend you reading the book of John. Study the word of God. Study the word of God. Now, as you are a new born again believer, the devil is going to try and come after you and try and bring all sorts of sins and temptations that you might never even thought of. But study the word of God and apply it to your lives. Listen to God's voice and the Holy Spirit by following and studying his word. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Let him guide you and guide your paths. This has been the benefit of studying the word of God. Thank you for listening and have a blessed week.